A year ago, I made a video about making yourself more dateable. And since I'm sure you followed all my advice to the T, mm -hmm. I think we should move on to what you should do and shouldn't do on a first date. Calling me cute because I'm here to help. Number one, don't tell your family secrets. When you go on a first date with someone, it's like when you test the water in your bathtub before you jump in. Or if you're in a foreign country and someone puts a plate of unidentifiable food in front of your face, you're probably gonna take just a little nibble, just a taste. That's what a first date is. It's just a taste. Therefore, there is no need to divulge all of your family secrets. You do not have to play all of your cards at once. Do not, do not, do not, do not talk about ex-boyfriends, estranged family members, estranged family members in prison, Aliens. your psychic abilities, religion, other dates, ghosts, marriage, your dildo collection, personal problems, personal issues, personal conundrums, conflicts, enigmas, or concerns. The time you get drunk, threw up in a taxi and it smelled like macaroni and cheese. Keep the red flags to a minimum. Once you have more of a bond from additional dates, then you'll have more of a connection that can cushion things when all this other stuff comes up. Number two, shut up. And I mean that in the kindest, gentlest way. Look, you have two ears and one mouth because you should listen twice as much as you talk. Don't monopolize the conversation because you're trying to get to know him as well. It's about not talking too much or on the other hand, not talking too little. Number three, don't engage in self-deprecating behavior. It's not cute. And when you're on a date, you're selling yourself. Well, not like that but kind of. So when I bought my iPhone, for example, they told me about the quality of the screen, and FaceTime, and all the cool apps I could download. What they didn't tell me was that the antenna sucks and the calls drop every 30 seconds. So be your own really good salesperson. If you give him reasons not to make the purchase and talk bad about yourself, you're not gonna come across as humble, you're gonna come across as insecure and someone that's fishing for compliments. I've never really liked my tits. Tell me you love them. Number four, when the bill comes, offer to split it. I don't care if you're a gay guy or a girl, when the bill comes, split it. And please do not tell me that you're old fashioned, turning butter is old fashioned. It is the 21st century, at least make the offer to split the bill. Thank you and have a nice day. Number five, please do not talk on your phone, text or tweet while you are on a first date. The date should be about getting to know each other. And though you might be trying to check into Foursquare to become the mayor of McDonald's, to him, it's gonna come across as you ignoring him. It's rude, so put your phone in silent and keep it in your pocket or your handbag or your man purse trying to cover all of our bases here. Uh, it's called messenger bag. Number six, this might be my personal issue, but don't order a miniature meal. And this isn't just true for girls. I have been on so many dates with gay guys where they'll order for their meal a side salad with light dressing, no cheese, and a Diet Coke. You might be trying to come across a date date, and yes, you might be nervous about the date, but look, I'm not trying to kick it with Skeletor. Don't hate. Number seven, so if the date does end with a kiss, and assuming you follow my fabulous advice, it will, be the first one to pull back. Leave him wanting more. Or just go upstairs and fuck him. Do what you do. I'm not trying to play games, but look, the kiss thing really, really works. It's almost like a little enchanting or something. It's a spell. Don't make that face, I'm serious. So all this advice, it's not about not being yourself. Of course you should be yourself on a date, but it's about not giving the guy a reason not to date you before he has a chance to get to know you. When you've started to build a real relationship, then you can open up about your alien abduction or your lima bean collection. This one has the Virgin Mary on it. But let's build a foundation first. I love you, I'll talk to you soon, peace out. I can't get up. I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs>